Okay, fellow part, uh, Paul Tards. <laughs> uh, you guys crack me up, right? At least the one thing that's good about the election is that the illusion is fading. All right, all you old folks out there, I don't know why they don't treat Ron Paul better on TV. Right, because you think that, you know, Walter Cronkite was looking at the TV and telling you the truth. Right, it's all starting to fade away, isn't it? Okay, so, right, get your, your illusions of this democracy and <laughs> this republic. Finally, you come face to face with it and you realize how rigged it all is and what theater mainstream media is. The bankers own it. Right? The bankers make money, uh, the obscene profits, war profiteering, they make obscene amounts of money. The bankers own the Fed. The, right? Ron Paul is not going to get a fair shake, and these guys are not going to let him even l al be allowed to be put on the ballot. Right? Unless we do something about it. Unless you guys wake the fuck up. Right? Quit talking about, oh, I can't believe there's be election fraud. There's no election fraud. We need solid evidence. You can't just sling mud around. We need solid evidence. Okay, there's, look at that, right? Look at that. That's South Carolina. Now look at that. That's also South Carolina for our happy boy, Newt Gingrich, right? Now, what do, what do we have there? That's what we have there. All right, I'm getting all fancy with my sound effects and stuff. Now, look, you guys are ridiculous if you can't understand what's going on. All right, they become more and more brazen. It's just, it's painful now. Let's see here. Uh, look at this. Ron Paul likely to, you know, steal top steer finish, right? All of the polling, it was polling strong. They don't care, right? Because it's 100% unverifiable, unverifiable e-voting that's going on over there. Been doing it, right? They did the same thing in New Hampshire. They got voting machines, no paper ballot, no paper trail, no problem, Right? It's not who counts the vote. Or, excuse me. It's not who. It's all about who counts the votes. It's not who casts the votes. It's who counts the votes. Wake up, right? Just wake up. They did the same thing when Buchanan was done it. They've done this numerous times. They want you to choose between Romney, Newt, and Rick, right? Excuse me, Mitt, Newt, and Rick. That's it. Th those are your choices. You understand? No, you don't understand because so many of you are out there still flapping your jaws about how they don't, you don't understand why they don't treat him fairly and you don't understand how he doesn't get a fair shake in the media blackout and you can't believe that there'd be, you know, that it's just mudslinging that if we talk about, uh, you know, sore losers and sour grapes if you didn't win the primary. They're stealing these elections over and over again. They've been doing it for years. They put men in, right? You don't put men in. Now, you want that to change, then you guys need to show up in droves, right? Young people, you need to show up in droves and, you know, do exit polling and make sure that the story gets out that this is Ron Paul and this is the other guys. It's as simple as that. And, oh, look, South Carolina Attorney General, is that good enough for you? The Attorney General of the freaking state, pardon my language again, uh, tells the Justice Department of dead voters, right? And you're going to tell me that uh, those guys over there in South Carolina, like Newt, right? Newt proposed a death penalty for marijuana. And then, you know, really? That's the guy you want, right? 40% of them. Nonsense. Take a look at these polls, right? Just, I got all the links down below. And just realize how statistically improbable it is that the results are the results. Right, that how it came out is the way it would come out in physical reality. Now, uh, win or lose, the only tool left to these guys is the inflation tool. Right? I talked about this a little bit. But understand that the chances of hyperinflation are very, very high. Deflationists, you're fooling yourself. Right? Here's a good, here's a guy that's been talking about it for a while. I'll link this one. This is just good information. If you're going to watch a half hour and some news, it's a little coarse uh, like me, but uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, look, he's going to, Obama's going to grant banks robo-signing immunity, right? I mean, it's just, it's amazing. RIAA lawyers getting appointments, Monsanto lawyers getting appointments. It's, I mean, you Democrats... 
and now he wants to start a war with Iran, and apparently because he's a Democrat, it's okay with the Democrats. If this was Palin and McCain trying to start a war with Iran, the, the liberals would be, uh, you know, up in arms. But since it's Obama, apparently it's okay. Anyhow, uh, there's another one. I'm, I'm meant to link this, or I'm going to link this. It's a little thing to listen to where this guy, if you don't know who John Williams is, you need to figure out who John Williams is and begin heeding his advice, right? He basically uh, talks about inflation and the, the government numbers being BS. His math is impeccable. Um, anyway, just listen to it and understand that this is the way it looks to be going. Now, with all of this happening, right, and then putting Ron Paul in, trying to uh, head this off at the pass, is going to be difficult. But it's not impossible, but you better prepare for what comes. Now, look at this. Just look up bro brokered convention because that's what they're looking for, right? Because you understand that Mitt Romney and Ron Paul are the only two guys in all 50 states, right? The support is so weak for Newt and Rick that they cannot even get them on the ballot in all 50 states, right? They couldn't get enough signatures. And I think in Virginia they were going to go, well, oh, okay, we'll put them on anyway. Right, well, remember that. Remember that court decision in the future, because then you should be able to put other guys on the ballot anyway. Right? When they try to say, oh, he didn't get enough signatures. Well, Rick didn't get enough signatures. Newt didn't get enough signatures. And in 2012, you put them on the ballot. Okay, so what are they going to try and do? Broker the convention. Just look it up. See what it means. This is what they're talking about, right? The chatter's on the rise, because, again, your illusions should begin to fade away now. The illusion of this republic and the fact that, you know, we have a, a representative democracy, right? That's a, that's a republic, not a democracy, right? People get those terms confused. And what we have is four guys being, cho well, actually three guys being chosen for you, not the fourth guy. The fourth guy is Ron Paul. You have three of one flavor and one of another flavor, and they want you to pick between vanilla, vanilla, or vanilla, Right? <laughs> and the Neapolitan guy, or the Rocky Road. Nah, you can't have that. You get vanilla. Do you understand? And what I'm saying is, no, you don't understand. Because I see the comments. People are like, we need solid evidence. I don't believe that there's vote fraud. What, what more do you need? Right? I put the links in there. Seriously, what more do you need? There it is. There it is. Right? Uh, get a clue. Ron Paul. Gingrich. Ron Paul, Gingrich. Do you get it? No, I don't think you do. Right? <laughs> That's how thick the American people are. Right? They just can't conceive that the mainstream media is in cahoots with the bankers and that they're trying to broker an election for you. Right? <laughs> and trying to pick the guy for you. Doesn't matter who votes. Does not matter who votes. It's who counts the votes. Wake up. Like I said, the, the happy thing about this election is so many people now are starting to wake up to the fact that this republic has slipped <laughs> to the point where, right? And it's, but it's, see, this is not new. This isn't the first time they're doing this. They did the Buchanan. They've done it numerous times, right? I mean, if you look at how uh, JFK got in, there was quite a bit of vote fraud going on there. His father bought him an election. I mean, it's been going on forever. You want real change? You want peaceful revolution and you want Ron Paul, then you guys are going to have to get off your butts and get do ten times more work. Right? A heck of a lot more than you've done so far. Told you, if you let it go in Iowa, they'd make it more and more blatant, right? So they figured, well, we got away with it in Iowa, right? A few guys on YouTube saying, you know, boo, but other than that, so got away with it in New Hampshire, and now for sure they're getting away with it in South Carolina. Soon it's going to be Florida, and on and on. I don't know what they're going to do when it's only Romney and Ron Paul. That'll be very interesting to see. right? They'll, like I said, they'll probably try and see if they can get the other guys on the ballot, even though they don't have enough support to even get on the dang ballot. But you guys are just silly. I, I mean, wake up. It's vote fraud. It's a vote fraud extraordinaire. And if you guys can't see that by now, then you know what? <laughs> uh, you're just sad. And you deserve the, the, the evil and unkind connotation of the word Paul Tard. Right? The rest of you Paul Tards, 
better wake up and get going. But for those of you that are still, you know, wringing your hands and thinking that this is up and up and that it's not going to be, you know, dirty, then, you know, sorry for you. The reality of the situation is this. Right? All right. Gone on long enough. Get out there and get to work because obviously your work is cut out for you.